hello everybody. Uh, well, I'm Clayton Lino, as Ian uh, told us. I'm the president of the National uh, Council for the Montatronica Biosphere uh, and also member of the International Advisory Committee for Biosphere Reserves of UNESCO. But uh, first of all, I'm a spelunker. <laughs> I'm a speleologist since, since uh, 1972 and former uh, president of the Brazilian Society of Speleology. And then it's really a pleasure to me to, to talk about uh, synergies between two things that for me are always in my mind and my heart, <laughs> caves and biosphere reserves. Uh, I had a presentation uh, uh, about our proposal to invite everybody for the cave map network and I will share with you, okay, just a moment. Uh, are you seeing? Can can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me put the one. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, um, the idea is uh, to thank for Mammoth Cave National Park, Biosphere Reserve, and Scotians Cave. Uh, Biosphere Reserve, our friends uh, Daria and uh, Vania de Bebek also uh, to 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 organize uh, together this this workshop. Uh, I put here three photos for one of the bio, for each one of the Biosphere Reserve that in this moment we are in the coordination of the, the network uh, to showing that why is so important for us uh, the caves. Uh, here in uh, the left, uh, you can see the Casa de Pedra cave, uh, uh, stone house cave in the Mount Atlantica Biosphere Reserve uh, with the beautiful uh, Atlantic forest and also the entrance of the, the, the big, is the biggest entrance of caving in the world is 215 uh, meters high. Uh, it's, and part of one park with more than uh, 600 caves. It's just one of the 2,500 uh, parks in the Biosphere Reserve because it's a huge Biosphere Reserve. And Mammoth Cave is the biggest uh, cave in the world, more than 600 uh, kilometers of beautiful uh, galleries and a uh, lot of history. And the uh, Scotians Cave uh, in Slovenia is one of the most beautiful tourist caves also. Uh, it's an uh, underground uh, canyon uh, and I had the, the chance to visit both uh, uh, parks and biosphere reserve. Um, okay, let's there. Well, uh, first, just to remember that caves and karst are unique, beautiful, and fragile environments. Uh, they preserve much of the Earth's history and important traces of the evolution of our species of the human species, uh, and they must be protected. Uh, Karsten caves are also special landscapes and sites for science, biodiversity, water, geodiversity, tourism, religion, culture, sport, economy, etc. And they must be used in a sustainable way. We had uh, many threats to caves and karst areas around the world and we must to protect and to promote a sustainable use. 
Uh, well, this map uh, is about uh, the distribution of uh, carcifiable rocks in the world. And we are talking about carbonate rocks, uh, dolomites, uh, limestone, uh, and it represents about 15.2% of the global continental surface. Uh, and in these areas, uh, globally, about uh, 1 million and 18 billion, uh, 1 billion and 18 million people uh, live uh, on karst areas. We are talking about 16.5% uh, of the global population. And then it is very spread and important areas for for everything, for our agriculture, for settlements, for water, etc. Uh, in addition to the carbonate rocks, caves occur also in many different litologies: uh, squartzite, sandstone, iron, gneiss, basalt, gypsum, salt, lava tubes, ice. Well, we have many different uh, genesis, many different litologies, uh, dimensions and in uh, each cave is unique. You know? uh, and this, if we consider all these areas, about 20% of the Earth's surface will have our places for caves. Uh, in brief, to think about a good future for caves and karst, uh, we need to pr the, promote the, the knowledge, the protection, and sustainable use. Um, for that, we need uh, good science, education, and good practices. Uh, and we have uh, good science, education, and good practices to share. Uh, and that's one of ideas of our network. And we need strategies as partnerships, communication, and networks uh, and well we have a special partner uh, uh, because this concept is and strategies uh, added to a participatory governance are exactly the basis of the unesco mount program and it biosphere reserves uh, the biosphere reserves are um, uh, model regions uh, uh, and learn spaces for sustainable development. They are territories designated by UNESCO with three basic functions, exactly conservation, sustainable development, and logistic support uh, that mm, includes uh, education, training, research, monitoring, etc. Uh, and we have a world network, network of biosphere reserves uh, with 701 biosphere reserves in uh, 124 countries at the moment. Uh, that represents the 5% of the global surface, uh, world surface, and also is a place for 260 million people uh, and then as uh, a, a really very important and spread uh, network of these special places in our uh, planet. Well, uh, and more than 200 biosphere reserves have caves or karst in their territories. And, and, uh, you can see here different biosphere reserves with different kind of uh, karst and caves. Uh, and of course, when we were thinking uh, synergies, we have a global and natural synergy between the biosphere reserves of the UNESCO MAP program and also the International Union of Speleology that it's a big network with uh, cave groups, cave association uh, to protect, to study uh, karst and 
uh, caves around the world. Uh, we are trying to put together uh, these big networks and promote the synergy. Is That's the proposal of the cave map network. Um, well, cave map is, is still now an informal thematic network creating support of the UNESCO Man and Biosphere, the MAB program. Uh, was recently formed in 2018 and hopes to connect people from the more than 200 biosphere reserves uh, with caves and karst resources across the globe. And membership is open to any individual or organization working with caves or karst landscapes uh, in biosphere reserves. But we talk also uh, about related programs, the World Heritage Sites, Geoparks, Hamsar Sites, and other special uh, places in, in a global view. Uh, what the approaches and objectives of our cave map network? is the identification and assessment of cave and karst biosphere reserves through cooperative efforts with other cave and karst organizations and managers of the biosphere reserves. Uh, promotion of the communication and information, experiences and research, the research sharing uh, within the, the network, promotion of cave and karst educational resources and professional development opportunities, enhancement of community involvement and sustainable uh, development, cooperative scientific research and monitoring, uh, and use the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve designation to gain means for action. Um, also to promote karst cave and karst education, uh, public outreach and science-based policy support, building partnerships at all levels to leverage synergistic efforts and explore funding opportunities. This is part of the cave map uh, network declaration. It's a kind of protocol and you can see this in our uh, web page. Um, the Cave Map Network is calling us to take action in creating a sustainable future by protecting the biodiversity of unique and fragile, fragile caves and karst environments across the globe. Here I, uh, we propose the following to enhance mutual understand and direct steps for addressing our concerns. The development of an informal, multidisciplinary network connecting those uh, UNESCO biosphere reserves. Uh, the, the connection of biosphere reserves to promote information sharing opportunities in cave and karst education and training, collaborative research of economic, social and environmental benefits and challenges, and intercultural exchange. The creation of an online platform to support communication among uh, cave map members and other interested parties, uh, as World Heritage Natural Sites, for instance, uh, to establish a, a database uh, of cave and karst resources within the map world network and to promote a network meeting every three years to present results, share experiences and continue collaborative projects. Well, let's give some examples. And uh, I present here, well, how to explore the synergies between uh, to this uh, biosphere reserve and cave karst protection, uh, a Brazilian example. Uh, in Brazil, we have seven biosphere reserves. You can see in the maps, uh, on the map, but uh, are huge biosphere reserves. Um, uh, especially, we have a special politics for bio, uh, biosphere reserves that we, we uh, the country must have 
uh, at minimum one big biosphere reserve for the big biomes uh, in the country, uh, as Amazon, Mata Atlantica, the Atlantic rainforest, uh, Pantanal, Caatinga, Cerrado, etc. Uh, and then our the total area of the biosphere reserves in Brazil are a little bit more than 2 million square kilometers. It's uh, about 24% of the country. Uh, the other side, we have a lot of caves also. Um, at the moment, we have it, uh, about 20,000 uh, caves in the, the Brazilian inventory of caves. Uh, and about 53% of these caves are inside our biosphere reserves. We have 10,700 caves inside the biosphere reserves. And each year we discover a lot of you know, new caves in Brazil. Uh, for each biosphere reserve, we have a database with the, the information, not on uh, uh, the place, but information about each cave. Uh, this inventory, it's a national inventory uh, organized by the Brazilian Society of Speleology and the CECAV is the federal um, national uh, center for research and protection of caves. Um, these maps, we to produce these maps, you have the support of the Observatorio Speleologico, uh, Speleologico Observatory. It's a member of the Brazilian Society of Speleology also. And then, uh, in our case, the Mata Atlantica Biosphere Reserve, uh, we have more than 6,000 caves. And of course, we need to it's a very uh, important uh, issue for us. Uh, and, well, what we do or support partners for caves and conservation. Uh, proposals for new protected areas, including caves and karst areas. Proposal for protective legislation, management plans for tourist caves training of tourist guides and caves, campaigns against threats to cave areas, uh, support for the Brazilian Speleological Congress. Uh, each year we have a, a big uh, speleological uh, congress in Brazil. Uh, cooperation with cement companies for the protection of uh, caves and cars. For instance, we have a, a 10 years old uh, cooperation between the Mata Atlantica Biosphere Reserve, the Brazilian Society of Speleology, and Votorantim Cimentos is the biggest uh, uh, cement company in, in Brazil. And uh, through this, this cooperation, we protect a lot of caves and also um, general biodiversity uh, in Brazil and also in other places. Uh, this, uh, as uh, in Spain, for instance, Votorantim have uh, some places uh, with um, very important caves. Uh, and then we are protecting the caves also there with this cooperation. Well, we promote seminars, courses, uh, lives, TV, videos, publications, and we have many publications all about caves and karst areas. Uh, and the cave inventory of biosphere reserve. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, but in, at the moment we are uh, in seven, uh, sorry, in nine biosphere reserve in the Cape Mag network. And in France, in Brazil, in South Africa, Slovenia, Czech Republic, uh, in USA, Hungary, Slovakia, and also uh, a transboundary biosphere reserve uh, between Poland and Slovakia. And all these biosphere reserves, uh, for all these biosphere reserves, uh, karst and cave are very important issues. Well, uh, we have a 
here in the map of the nine biosphere uh, within the, the cave map uh, network at the moment, but we must we must to complete this map and we invite everybody to, to join us. Um, at the moment, we have uh, coordination for the map network with the uh, Leanne, Daria, uh, Kranik, uh, and me. And we have our web page, uh, cavemap.com, uh, with more information that you can uh, access to see. Uh, finally, we invite you to select one collective cave map action in celebration of, fifth, of the 50th anniversary of the, the map program and the EU, uh, EU, uh, International Union of Spedology uh, 2021 International Year of the cave, of Caves and Karts. Well, next year, 2021, uh, will be a very in, important year for biodiversity, for climate, for um, international conservation, and is uh, how uh, it's, uh, it's the celebration for caves and karst with this international year and the celebration of the uh, 50th anniversary of the MAP program. And then this is our a very exciting opportunity uh, for us to show our work, to uh, uh, communicate about the importance of caves and cars. Well, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Clayton, for that uh, um, introduction of, of Cave Map and um, our, our mission, our goals there, and, and what we're working for. Um, and what a great segue there into, um, into hearing more about the International Year of uh, Cave and Karst. Um, I'm going to ask George Finney um, to, uh, to address the, the workshop participants. He is the director of the National Cave and Karst Research Institute here in the U.S. and, of course, is the current president of the International Union of Speleology. So thank you for joining us this morning, George. I have not made you a co-host. I realize that as I'm speaking. And <laughs> so there we go. So you should be able to share your screen at this point. Okay. Thank you very much. Is that okay um, on Tuesday for those of you who were with us at the beginning of this uh, of this conference um, I spoke a bit about the International Year of Caves and Cars as a global effort organized by the International Union of Speleology to educate the world about caves and karst. Um, uh, Clayton and Leanne asked me to speak a little bit more about it and how this can relate to the Man and Biosphere program, the Cave Map, and as I see it, it is of course a natural partnership. If we look at the goals uh, of Cave Map, and this is taken from the website, the text here, it's just shortened and simplified for the purposes of this talk. But the goals are the same between Cave Map and the International Year, and the goals are to connect people to caves and karst areas recognize that there are caves in multiple types of geological environments that benefit humanity. Together, and together means both Cave Map and the International Year, but I think of it as together as all of us, all of us working on this, because there's what, I think oh, about 30 people on this uh, uh, workshop right now. 30 people can't reach the world, but together we can reach more of the world. We can develop additional partnerships. Uh, to, uh, to, to succeed, but together we will address social, uh, multidisciplinary social, educational, cultural, and scientific challenges in protecting the world's unique cave and cursed environments. So how are some of the specific shared actions, what are some of the specific shared actions that we can do? And the first one that always comes to mind are partnerships. 
Um, Clayton just nicely illustrated that there are over uh, 200 uh, biosphere reserves that have caves and cars. Um, I would bet that many of them, some of them do not realize that they have important cave and karst resource, resources there. Um, there are many that may not be on this list that have caves and karst. Um, and we, we encounter this all the time. Caves, by their nature of being underground, are hidden resources. Many people around the world do not understand what karst is. They've never even heard of the word. So developing partnerships, especially with people who manage, who protect, who are involved with cave and karst research and protection um, is, is critical to growing this alliance, to growing our effectiveness in reaching the world and educating the world for the long-term future of caves and karst. Citizen science projects, um, bringing together citizens to come on out to your biosphere reserve and get involved. Of course, these are things that the biosphere reserves can do without the international year, but having the international year is incentive. It's something new, it's something extra to advertise, to promote, to say something special is going on this year. And likewise, using that something special to help expand the boundaries of some of the biosphere, reserve, biosphere reserves or create new ones. And certainly the expansion and creation of new reserves will not happen in one year or even two or three. But that's the impetus there, there that can make this happen, whether it takes three or four or 10 years, but it will make it happen. Connecting the sciences is so critically important. When we talk about biosphere, we think of biology, but the biology is dependent on the geology. The geology controls the hydrology. Without water, you cannot have life. You, cannot have, you can't have the biology. There's also the cultural interactions, both ancient and modern, that are critically important to these areas. And so KARST is so multidisciplinary. It's a great way to bring these things together and to demonstrate the benefits of these regions of protecting caves and KARST. Uh, for many people, caves are just holes in the ground. They don't see the value. Karst is a funny word. They don't see the value. This is a chance to educate the people about the benefits and the values. The International Year will also include the first year of the International Cave Animal, which is the cave beetle. So locate, identify a cave beetle in your country, in your biosphere reserve, and demonstrate why something so small can be so important to your region. And of course, media outreach. Again, we can't do this by ourselves. We need help and the media is one incredible way to reach the world, to reach the public. And it's also important because of the pandemic. Um, I ask everyone to think and to plan for the pandemic. We hope that we can all physically get together next year, uh, but if we can't plan for social media, website, virtual conferences, virtual workshops, virtual field trips, the way we've, the way we've had now uh, to prepare uh, for, uh, for next year so we can still have a great uh, international year. So in closing, first of all, take a, take a screenshot of this page at, you know, to save the addresses. Uh, I invite you and ask you to please join the International Year of Caves and Karst and Cave Map. Um, again, these are hidden resources and to really understand and protect them properly, we need to explore them. We need to study them. The website is down here on this page. Um, go to the website, especially go to the download page to download information, promotional information, planning guides, other information. But the website is developed uh, also as an educational tool to teach people about caves and cars. If you have any questions, my address is there. Contact me anytime. Thank you very much.